Hello everyone and welcome to the next edition of the Grumpy Pony podcast. Um, in this week, uh, this week's edition, I was really glad to be joined by um, Oniris, the artist on Instagram. He is a really, really talented guy and really great to talk to. And it was just really, really nice to sit down with him and talk about how he got into, um, you know, doing all these commissions for you know, for Instagram and for all the fans of, of Warhammer and the hobby stuff and things like that. So it was a great chat. So I really hope you enjoy. So uh, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Thanks so, so much for joining me today for the Grumpy Pony Thank podcast. Um, Thanks to you, man. It's my pleasure. Ah, cheers, mate. So, yeah, the first thing I wanted to talk about, so for people that are listening that don't know, um, you do loads of... Um, Warhammer sort of themed art well sort of not not just Warhammer is it it's it's all sorts of different art that you do on Instagram I, I mostly do Warhammer 40,000 fan art because it's the most popular uh, thing that it's right now on the tabletop industry and also because uh, most of people that play tabletop games already play Warhammer and it's you know, it's. I think it's because also when when you are playing uh, many years this game, you start to do your own. Uh, in this case, uh, space mining chapters, for example. Yeah. And yeah. when people saw the kind of art that I do, and the the kind of commissions I I I offer, I think that uh, catches a lot of attention, and that's why uh, the re- that's the reason why I do so many uh, Warhammer. 40,000 fan art commissions. But I, I really like to do uh, of any game. I mean, I don't have any problem on fantasy or Steepy or, or sci fi or any yeah. kind of other games. Right now, I'm working uh, on, on some t- t- tabletop games yeah. with people. So I, I, will, uh, I will be able to show a bit more about it. And yeah, uh, that's mostly what I do right now. Brilliant. Yeah, because like how we, we sort of got talking, wasn't it, that I contacted you to ask me, to ask you to do um, a commission for me, um, for my, yeah. uh, I think it was a, a model that I had, for, I've had it for years, and um, yeah, the, I, I just thought, well, I've got to do something special for it. I, I remember when you, when we first talked, yeah. and I, I was really happy because I, I started uh, when you contacted me, and maybe I, it was just a month, maybe I just started yeah. doing. Do, well, my 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 Instagram account. I started at the beginning, no, at the at the at the end of the two to twenty nineteen. Yeah. Uh, but I was not using it mo- it more until the, the the start of this COVID. Yeah. And and. I, I remember that, that when you contacted me, you were one of the first that wanted a, a character illustration. Yeah. And it was I, it was really happy because I didn't uh, expect uh, that so many people started to commission me. And even you, for example, that you uh, you have your own hobby store. And yeah, and it was, yeah. It was really surprising because it, it made me realize that people that even uh, are, are so so much into the hobby that wanted to to an artwork for me it, it made me really happy and I, I also i enjoyed a lot doing your, your character mate i, I started off that <laughs> that's on, great i mean one thing work. i've noticed with people that do this hobby is they've got a real appreciation for for talented people and like mm. you could see the artwork that you were doing and yeah. uh, it's just so good i mean i don't know how you learned how to do that at the speed that you do as well, um, yeah. it's so quick. Your your work rate is is crazy. I don't Thank know how you manage to keep up and do all well. That. To summarize it, David, I I always uh, painted since I am a kid. I studied uh, mostly all of my of my life, all, all related to art, and super, super focused on, on illustration. And fan, uh, on of fantasy and science fiction, and uh, I, I was I always like a digital illustration, but to make it on on that looks traditional, you know. Um, yeah. And I did a lot of what's called uh, speed painting. That it's like, for example, uh, having just uh, an hour of of deadline, 
and try to finish something in, in one hour. It doesn't matter if the quality is, is not good. It's just a uh, practice. Yeah. And well, it's many years practicing this way of, of illustrating. And now, right now, I achieve at the point that I can do really fast illustration, but it's not only a thing of me. I mean, a lot of great artists in this world, in this world uh, can do um, really awesome illustrations in, in maybe a couple of hours, three, four yeah. hours. And you will be surprised at how many good illustrations you saw, you saw from Games Workshop, for example, yeah. that maybe it was done in, in five, six hours. Wow, you know? really? It, yeah, yeah, because right now, um, I, I mean, it's not the same illustrating, illustrating something on a physical canvas with yeah. traditional painting than on digital. Obviously, digital offers this kind of going super fast, but not bad. Um, and uh, practicing that much in the illustration many, many years, you can achieve that. I, it, my, in my case, it's only a matter that I practice it since maybe 16 years old. Now I'm 30. Yeah. And, and it's like maybe, yeah, for 14 years old, old, years of practicing this to, to achieve this. I mean, I really appreciate that, that, you, that you think that my artwork is really good considering yeah. uh, how fast I, I do it. And I, I think that's another uh, point that I could live doing this because I, I if, if I could not do, uh, for example, so many artwork in, in, this, in this short time, I think it will not be worth the time yeah. uh, uh, of the money I can earn from it. Sure. You know, that's why not so many artists can uh, we, uh, we earn a decent amount of money every month, but it's only because the, the how fast you go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's and that's great. Yeah. That, yeah. Because let's like, say, like, if you if you were having to rely on, say, like one painting or one art one piece of art yeah. every few months or something you you just couldn't survive on that but exactly yeah, and doesn't it doesn't maybe if you are probably one of the best artists in the world you can uh, say uh, i will do this illustration in one month and then you will and you will pay me a, a, i don't know a, a, a really big amount of money yeah. you know yeah but, but right now it's not it's not common I, at least in my experiences that it's not common yeah so um do you, do you play any miniatures games now or or do you do, do you collect anything now right now i don't play uh, any any tabletop game not because i don't like it because i'm uh, almost 100 focused on illustration yeah but i use it, i use it to play a lot of games for yeah. uh, besides uh, warhammer I played uh, the Ninth Age. I played Infinity, the game. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I played uh, well. Most of games of War Games Workshop, probably Blo uh, Blood Bowl, 40k, Age of Sigma, a bit of fantasy, you know. Yeah. Um, but right now I, I'm not because first because I'm really focused on illustration and sure. the, mo the most important thing is because I want to leave Spain. And I, I I cannot have time to to invest on miniature, but yeah, but I I use it to to paint a lot of miniatures and yeah. to have a lot of miniatures. I mean, uh, how many how many of us can can say that we had boxes or and boxes of yeah, yeah. <laughs> man. But now yeah. I, I'm, I now I, now we are grown man, yeah. you know, <laughs> and we we. We but we keep buying because th these are amazing, yeah. but not not that amount. But we keep buying. I mean, I I have miniatures there. <laughs> yeah, you, you never stop. That's the thing. You never yeah. stop. Um, yeah, because also because it's getting better and better every time. It is. And... It is. There was the um, the Warhammer community uh, preview today. And yeah, they just, I, I saw it. Yeah, and they just announced some some of the models in that look absolutely stunning, and I just don't know how they again. It's just this this level of art that goes into these yeah. models now. This is great. It's it's amazing. It I mean the, probably Games Workshop have the the best three three D artist 
in this yeah. world, probably, and, and also concept artists and illustrators. I mean, I knew a bit of, of how they work. Yeah. And it's, it's totally impressive. Yeah, I mean, it really is to see that process. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to say to you as well about about your your Instagram has yeah. it sort of ex it's exploded really over like through lockdown, hasn't it? Like your followers have gone from like, you know, you still had quite a big following. I think when I started following you, you still had a few Well, compared to compared to mine. I think you've got a hell of a lot more. Yeah. Um, well, that's because two reasons. Well, sorry, sorry. No, go for it. Yeah. Um, well, that's two. I think it's two reasons. When I, I started, when when you contacted me, yeah, I, probably a month before that, I started to be known in this kind of of uh, community. Yeah. In, in this community, I had maybe fourteen followers, no, forty followers or so. Because I, I was uploading personal art, and uh, I decided to to uh, my personal projects uh, to to keep them to to not show what I'm doing on internet until I, I finish it. Yeah. And as as always, I like it to do fan art. I did a lot of uh, Blizzard fan art, World of Warcraft. Yeah. Before, I I like it a lot to do that and. It was maybe three years before of this account because I I I I, I was not always or nervous because I changed it sometimes of artistic name. It depends on on the mood, you know. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> it's well, uh, we artists are a bit mad. <laughs> um, I I did a lot of little fan art. It went really well, but I just stopped it and. Three years later, this year, this past year, when I started uploading my personal projects to the internet, I decided to, to not do it, at, to start doing again fan art. But in yeah. this case, I chose Warhammer as the main thing. Yeah. Because I always loved it uh, since, since I was a kid. And I thought that I, could, I can do something to, to, to earn a bit of money, you know, mm. before I, I I launch my personal projects, and I decided that if I want to be, uh, if I if when I show my personal projects, if I want to to be able to sell it better, first I need to be a bit known. You yeah. Know? And well, it was funny because I was not expect expecting this 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 experience exploding of my account yeah I, I it all started when i uh, i was uploading some fan art of uh, well some characters i was doing of black templars and the instagram account uh, artwork of warhammer shared a picture of 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 those uh, black templars and it had started uh, to 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 grow the the my yeah. instagram and then yeah. I saw there the I saw there the the real possibility of of doing commissions for people because I was not expecting at first to do a lot of commissions, you know, yeah. just to to be known. No, I had I I had not this, this idea maybe to do a couple of commissions, but mm. it was not the idea. But later I saw the potential that that Instagram can offer to artists. Yeah, and and. Uh, on this hobby community in particular that is using so much Instagram, uh, at first I started do, uh, offering uh, like scenic illustrations, nothing, nothing in particular as the character illustrations I do. Yeah. And then one day, uh, um, one person wanted a space marine character of his own. It was yeah. later of, of your of your commission. Yeah. And on on that commission, my my brain uh, like started, you know, like I had a really a good idea that was it's it's a simple idea, but it's uh, offering people to add the a bit of the story of the characters, you know. Yeah. Because I, I, in the end, this is just a hobby, but it's it's like a real good hobby, you know that. Can yeah. let the creativity of people to 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 be uh, super free, 
you know, to, to create something about a, a tool that you have in, in your eyes that it's a, a, a world that is already created to be a bit a bit part of, of that. Yeah. And I think it's so simple as, as that, you know, um, I, I just offer the opportunity to to make something that is not official to 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 be like official you know yeah i mean i loved it when when um when i got a picture of the baron back you know the uh, the the commission that i got got from you um yeah. like i say i that, that was a model that's been sitting in various cupboards and sh on shelves for years and years and years yeah and then to see him sort of realized as an actual character you know yeah. not not just a model that it it's, it's for someone like me I think I think this is probably the same for a lot of people that have been collecting for a long time there's yeah. something just to, so satisfying to see your character realized like that um yeah. so yeah so I, I mean it doesn't surprise me at all that you're it's it's your to, like to bring it a bit to life you know yeah yeah absolutely like, yeah I, 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 tell me yeah so and I was saying just the way that you picked up on little details, like just on the stuff on the base as well, yeah. and like just added those little details in, just to make him feel like it just all felt like he was part of that world, you know. And it's just, yeah, it's great. It's put pride of yeah, place really, in my hobby hole. <laughs> I really want that. I mean, if someone is contacting me and putting the, their hobby effort, their time, their their passion. And is is trusting on on me to to bring it a bit to life. I I feel super happy. Yeah. And if I were rich, I would do it for free. You know? <laughs> totally, because yeah. I think it's something really personal. I and every single illustration I did, I I do my best. You know, I yeah. I, I I I try that the when the person sees what what he was looking for it, uh, it 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 feels super satisfied about it and it's hard to describe it it's i don't know how to describe it maybe it's, yeah it's a, no, a, i, I a kind really of get where you're coming situation. from though it's satisfying to see that effect that your work is having on on people and it's it must make you feel really positive so, sorry, I don't understand the. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying like the the effect that your work has when people get hold of it must be a really positive feeling because you're getting oh, yeah. such great great feedback on it. Yeah, yeah, I I, I think that ninety nine comma nine percent of people that contacted me uh, was really satisfied about it, and yeah. also do do I was, and because I think it was really clear. It was more clear when when I did the the art book. The yeah. free, I, 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 my first idea was to to sell the book, but obviously for intellectual property rights, yeah. I, I can't. But but I can uh, give it for free. So <laughs> <laughs> at a PDF, I, I, yeah. I need the, the PDF. Yeah, and in brilliant. that moment, I realized how great was doing all the all the artwork all the bringing all those characters to a bit more to life yeah and and seeing on on the book i have here the book prepared <laughs> if you oh, wanted to, yeah. to talk about but it's just to, well i printed it myself uh, yes. because I, I i don't i can't uh, buy uh some uh, i cannot buy it from a, a an actual I don't know how to say it. Um, I cannot make prints of right. this. Right. Yeah. I can print one for me. So. Yeah. And when I when I had this in my my hand and I can I, I saw all I did on like it's like I mean it's like to 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 make it uh, uh, official. I mean it's not official, but it's like to. To make it real, you know, to make it uh, something important, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, what, absolutely. What, like each one of those pictures is something that actually means quite a lot to each person, you know. Exactly, exactly. Every every single uh, character I illustrated, it's something that 
came from someone that spent many time, many hours creating it, even, even if it's only um, maybe for some are just uh, uh, entertaining for, for some time, but for other people, for other people, it's a hobby from maybe from since since they are kids, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, absolutely, yeah. And and it's 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 really satisfying to see it, you know. I it I, I could do I could tell it in many ways. Yeah. But but the the last the all the, the 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 only truth is that when you see it, you you feel happiness, you know. Yeah. Maybe it's so it's so a charming way to say say it, you know. Yeah, no, no, I, I completely agree with that, and I think that's a great way to say it. So, um, well, and, and you, you as having the the hobby, your hobby store. Yeah. Uh, when when you sell something to 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 a person that you, when you saw the happiness when they can buy something that they will spend their their time, their creativity, you know. Yeah. It must be something really, really. Yeah. Happy I mean, to feel. Yeah, for me, it was the the idea of building a community where there wasn't a hobby store. So we yeah. we built everything from the ground up, and yeah. everyone came in was new to the to the shop, and everyone just got start got started to talk and become friends, and they were making friends within the hobby shop. So yeah. that for me was the the biggest reward that that we built this community out of nothing really it, was, yeah, it I, wasn't there so yeah i totally understand you mate. because two three years ago i i i had a youtube channel about miniatures yeah of hobby because i wanted to open a, a physical shop a store yeah. a hobby store but well the the story it's a bit long and well it doesn't it doesn't end it well but well, I'm a person that I you know I I don't feel I I never stop you know and if a project uh, doesn't end well I I simply stop and and go to to another thing you know yeah, yeah. Well, but, but I I really understand how you feel right? yeah because it's it's, very, it's it's such a rewarding thing to do it's, it's, yeah. rewarding rewarding was the word <laughs> that, that <laughs> I was searching <laughs> before yeah it really is um. I just wanted to ask as well like about your your art. Yeah. Do you have a sort of favorite subject matter? Because I know like we touched on you do, you know, the fantasy stuff, the sci-fi stuff, but in your in your mind, is there something you really love just getting your hands on and, and really tackling? Tackling? I don't I think I know I don't understand. So oh, something something a, a subject matter that you really love just you know, really sort of what's the best way to say it? um yeah because i'm a spanish i didn't yeah yeah it. no i'm trying i'm trying to think what's the best way i think it, i think it's obvious by my accent <laughs> english en, english is not my native language um, it's, it's I, a lot although, although, although my english is flawless it's a, it's a lot better than my spanish um <laughs> but, but you you have no problem if you don't talk spanish english is one of the language of the future so no <laughs> Now, all, all I was trying to say was, um, is there a, a particular subject or um, genre of painting or, you know, or, you know, or subject matter that you really yeah. enjoy more than anything else? I really enjoy uh, grim medieval fantasy. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I mean, I obviously enjoy it a lot. Uh, Warhammer 40,000 um, aesthetic. Yeah. I really enjoy it. But I really enjoy much more medieval uh, medieval aesthetic. Yeah. Like, for example, um, well, Warhammer Fantasy, it's a, a clear example. Yeah. But I I started to enjoy much more the, the kind of aesthetic that has the Dark Souls games. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. You know? But it's... it's it's like much more. It's uh, was it a, a grim a, fantasy? Yeah, it's it's more it's more you you can feel more the the loneliness on the on the in, on the mood of the game. I don't yeah. know how to say. It. Yeah, so, I mean, so sort of an, an isolation almost. 
Yeah, exactly. It's. I mean, I like to when when I do art, I I really go, like to go to 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 see all the potential I can I can do with a uh, with an artwork. I mean, uh, the the artwork I usually do on and I and that I show on my website, for example, or on Instagram, um, as as it's, as it's based on characters of the people. Yeah, I cannot go uh, that further that I would like to go with my my artwork. I mean, I cannot. I, I need to to to. I cannot do more than the the miniature has, for example. You know, yeah. because I need to be accurate. But I really like to. I would like to go more more far on the des design to more freedom. You know. Yeah, and I, and probably I will do it more much much more green that I actually do it because I I choose really intense colors for example you know yeah but I really like to go much more green I mean I I could show you um no I I think I can I cannot I, because on Tom I don't know how to 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 share a picture but well pro probably I will show it uh, soon on my Instagram or website okay. Uh, a kind of artwork that I really like to do, like for example, Silent Hill. Do you know? Yeah, yeah. That, that kind of monsters that are what well, super tenebrous, you know? Yeah. I really like to do to do that. I I, I mostly enjoy with everything, but medieval green dark, medieval terror. I really, I mean, I told you, mate. <laughs> artists are mad, and I'm, <laughs> well, I'm more mad that that I. <laughs> that they can the, well, that it's they... funny it's funny you say that because my my next question was going to be um because at the moment there seems to be a lot of uh hp lovecraft and cosmic horror sort of art yeah. out there so i was wondering whether or not that is something as well that you'd be interested in sort of going down i, I was always interested on on all kind of fantasy and and science fiction uh but i i if you meant if I'm if I read, for example, Lovecraft, or yeah. I, I I need to ad admit that I never read a book until the until last year. I mean, I I, I was an ignorant mate. <laughs> <laughs> but not, not only not only in fantasy books. I mean, in everything. Yeah. I, I think I think the last year and this and this 2020 the, the 20. 90 and 2020 i started to be a, a grown person yeah i mean <laughs> but i started to read a lot of history books yeah. uh, and some uh, some other books about philosophy not from fantasy or, or sci-fi i would like to do it but in this moment as spain is is on a really bad situation right i'm afraid i'm afraid i don't i can't uh, spend many much time on 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 even the hobby you know? Yeah, but I yeah. would like to do it because I find it really interesting. At least aesthetically, I love it. Lovecraft, I I, I know it. Yeah, but I didn't read anything about it. Yeah, I mean Lovecraft is everywhere at the moment. You can't. Um, but I I found out recently the the reason for it being everywhere is because yeah. the because the way copyright law works. So because yeah. the co the copyright is now it became public domain a couple of years yeah, ago. It's free. It's so, so free, you know. Yeah, so it's the same as why you see Sherlock Holmes everywhere because he's public yeah. domain. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> yeah. the, day, the day that Games Workshop makes that with Warhammer, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But who knows? No. Who knows, mate? No. Yeah. So, so you're saying like over the last sort of well previous year and and into this year, you know, things have really changed, and that's all. That's all been throughout lockdowns and and things like that so are you are you guys still locked down are you are you still I, in lockdown will, at the moment i will summarize the situation on spain and trust me i try to be really positive <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning uh, even me i was scared about all of this okay? yeah I, I I did all the things that uh, must be done. I mean, I I took uh, pre pre um, precautions, uh, precautions. But when you start uh, hearing 
uh, all the information you can you can hear. You know, I, I will not talk about this. It's sure. it's just it's just my experience. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't I don't have the 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 truth. The yeah. Truth. Okay. But the the main problem that happens in Spain, for example, is that anyone knows. Also, no one knows nothing. Mm. And the, the the whole sensation is that people is assuming that um, to be in a bad situation is normal, right? And and that means that uh, if you want to have a normal uh, a normal life here in Spain, you will feel you you will feel so lonely. Yeah. Because I, I don't know if, for example, in, in UK, you have more or less the same feeling. I, and it also is. it's different because I, I feel in Bar I, I feel I live in Barcelona. I mean, yeah. it's a big it's a big city. I don't I, I don't know how how uh, people is living on, on towns, for example. I, but I guess it's more or less the same, mm. you know, but the, the, the whole feeling is is like you feel lonely, you know, it's yeah isolated i and i don't i don't like to be isolated i mean I, I i i'm an artist that i like to be around of people i like to talk with everyone i like to and it's really hard for me you know yeah i try to be positive but i, I have the the sensation that this this is not going uh good you know and yeah that's why no, i want I, to leave the train. I, I i totally sympathize because it's it's very similar here and yeah. for someone like me who run you know runs a shop and it's a yeah. it's a, a social space as much as it is a shop to yeah. not have that is, is one of the reasons why I started doing the, pod, the podcasts and and things like that because yeah, just yeah. I just enjoy talking to people and I enjoy talking hobby with people as well and and, and that sort of thing so yeah I, I totally totally sympathize with yeah. that um I, it's I I just uh I do. I just wish you the best, mate, and and I, I'm sure that all the people that went to your store uh, have the same feeling. You know, the mm. the one the, the need the needing to do this, but the the fear of of not be able to to do that. It's also it's I I honestly I don't know where are we going. Mm. You know. Yeah. I just I just feel that this moment it's a moment uh, to learn to 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 try to adapt the best as possible and not to feel down yeah uh, because even even if the end of times is the, this year <laughs> <laughs> i will die with with a with a smile yeah. you know awesome. because if not if not um if not I will not be able even to to do these illustrations in this case, for example. If I yeah. if I if I don't keep positive, if I don't keep working hard and thinking how to to continue doing it, people will not will, will not come to 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 me, for example. Yeah. If I don't provide that sensation, I mean, if if, if I am not feeling happy with what I am doing, even even if I don't know what will happen tomorrow, yeah. Uh, we are we are condemned mate so I, I wish you i wish you i really wish you the best and don't, and don't worry if you cannot provide the same thing you wanted to provide uh, with this situation try to do it in in other ways and with this podcast podcast for example i yeah. think you are doing perfect oh because thanks very much mate it's a well way to, to adapt to this situation because i think this will not be forever but it, it will be at a, a time that it, yeah i have a feeling yeah. it's going to be for a, for a while longer than than what we all hope it's going to be yeah but i i do i i, I use this time that until we uh, we until the, this madness ends yeah i will yeah. like you know like a farmer i will i will keep working and when the winter co uh, passes at least i will have everything done you know yeah brilliant Oh, that's fantastic. So I've only got one more thing that I wanted to sure. ask you about, and that is what what have you got planned for the future? If you if you don't mind sort of giving something away, what have you got anything in the work? 
um well right now my plans are keep doing uh this kind of particular commissions because i really enjoy doing it and i i had a bit of experience working with companies before yeah and compared with this kind of work that i'm re doing right now i really enjoy man much more this because even people is it's much more grateful for this you know yeah and i want to continue doing particular commissions but right now i'm i'm working with uh, tabletop with people that is uh, doing tabletop games mm. and i have uh, i feel really free to to make it because i i don't have um for example uh, these things that you cannot show the artwork until uh, uh, you you cannot show the artwork. Uh, you will not have will not have any rights of your yeah. artwork because most of companies buys the the rights of the artwork. Yeah. And most of people even not cannot uh, signature the the artwork. You know. You yeah. feel that you are you are working for someone, not with someone. Yeah. You know. And I I rather do these particular commissions and to work with with small tabletop games yeah i mean when i say small it doesn't mean bad i mean in, compa in comparison with big tabletop sure. games that yeah. already exist are small but yeah. in terms of, of quality i think are this the almost the same i will never i think it's it's it will be st stupid to say that uh, a lot of people that is doing tabletop games of companies have the same quality of game wars i mean um, the amount of money that costs to do a yeah. sprue to for for a, any kind of mi new miniature that they do it's it's well it's ridiculous I mean, it is, yeah <laughs> so but but the, the effort put on on other tabletop games that are not that big i think it's probably the same yeah and i i really enjoy that because i feel that they are not so corporate corporative for yeah because when the more big you grow the, the the more the more need the more you need to think on all make it perfect and all, all more really protected really copyrights etc yeah. etc you know and it, it starts to feel a bit cold yeah you know yeah yeah and I so mean. summarizing it's i i really like to do these particular commissions and i am ready already working with the retail games yeah. later when I have enough experience, I will do my own uh, uh, fantasy and sci-fi projects because I really like to re to to read, write. Yeah. I really like to write. I really like to to create games, the rules. Yeah. So I, it's I, I'm preparing my path. You know, I'm I'm learning, learning and then I will be my my own uh, my own how to say it. I will be the, the, the person that makes the table talking. Yeah, and pro probably I will I will hire artists, you know, that will be it's like it's like a, a will, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and, uh, I, thank you, mate. No, that's awesome. Uh, mate, and and that, that's, all, that's all from me. So, yeah, thank you so much for doing this. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for listening to our podcast this week. Um, we're going to have weekly podcasts going forward. So um, keep downloading and subscribing to these podcasts. It's a great support for our shop, especially at such an unprecedented time. Um, thanks again so much for your support and I'll see you again next week.